What's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Marcus, and I had some people be asking me like, a, how I went from fat to fit. Yeah, there have been many people saying how I went from fat to fit, but I, all I gotta say is that I can't exactly tell you how I got there, but I will tell you how you can get there too. I mean, I can't, I can't, also, I can't exactly tell you how I got these muscles, but I can also tell you how you can get muscles, how you can get stronger and healthy. Well, all I gotta say is this. Well, before I tell you, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out, and we will get this going. What's so funny, TSL? <laughs> It's Marcus, the two two fly, it's Marcus, be the YouTube guy, it's Marcus, two fly, it's, it's Marcus, the two two fly, it's Marcus, be the YouTube guy, it's Marcus, once you go and hit that like, it's Marcus, once you go and subscribe, it's Marcus, he two two fly, it's Marcus, be the YouTube guy, it's Marcus, once you go and hit that like, it's Marcus, once you go and subscribe, it's Marcus, he two two fly, it's Marcus. For years, you see, I've been going to a lot of, a lot of emo face, but that's not be, but that's not this point of this video here. But I'm telling you, for years, I've been taking my time to focusing on myself and put my trust in God as well. All you gotta do is put your trust in God too, and He will do the rest. I'm telling you. When you see whatever I've been going through, it only got me to where I want to be. Because, you know, through all the heartbreaks and rejection, can you see? I put the heartbreaks and the exercise together. And you know what? It only made me stronger. Because, yeah, I've been dealing with lots of, I've been dealing with lots and lots of, I've been going through a lot of things right now. Well, I did go through a lot of heartbreaks and everything. But, you know what? It got me where I want to be. But, okay, now for number one. Number one is that all you got to do is put your trust in God. You, you know, the Lord, He always knows what we need to go to. And the Lord knows where you're going through. And the, and the Lord always knows what your future is going to hold to. You just got to believe in Him. You just got to believe in Him and believe in yourself too. Because, un you know, there's nobody in this world that could have believed in for you. Because it's just, it's just going to show that you can't just help somebody if you don't help yourself. And you can't just love someone if you don't love yourself, too. And you can't respect somebody if you don't re respect yourself. See, that's what it's all about. All you got to do is learn to respect yourself. Well, it's called self-respect. Like, you can't love someone until you love yourself. That means, like, what are you, what are you doing? Just focus on you. And uh, even though you've been going through a lot of times, and, like, when you have anger problems, when you be having anger problems, just don't take it out on everybody. Just take it out to the gym. So that way, it will release all the stress. Release all the stress and anger that builds up inside of you. And all the pain you've been going through. And like rejections and heartbreaks and and maybe like when you've been taken for granted. But you know what? Those pain that you were going through is only gonna cause think of it. The pain that you're going through will only make you stronger in the future. You'll never I and mean, hey, you never know what could happen in life. Because you no, know, the Lord always closes doors for reasons. And maybe you'll be thanking him for it too. Cause let me tell you this way. The heartbreaks and the pain can actually teach you a lesson in life. It's like what Robin Williams like Robin Williams says, the heartbreak, empty pockets, and hungry stomachs <clears throat> excuse me, stomachs can teach you a life lesson. And that's the truth right there. Okay, number two. Number two, what you guys need to do is start eating more healthy. Like, you know, 
focus on home cooked meals and like more home cooked meals and less of the out the less of the outing. Like you know, like you know what I mean by outings like a fast food restaurants, but you see but I you see I don't eat McDonald's anymore. I don't eat Burger King anymore either. So you see, I focus so much more on home cooked meals. It's actually a good feeling too. The best thing with home cooked meals is that it'll actually help you save money. I mean, yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be yes. It's very expensive when you go to the store. Yes, it's very expensive when you go to the store when you had to buy some groceries. But it's but it's actually def, but it's actually much better than going to fast food restaurants and buying some food that's not really good for you. Cause you well, you see, I did eat some. Well, one time, you know, sometimes when we're all little kids, we all used to get addicted to McDonald's <laughs> when we were little. Because, you know, I remember when I was little, I used to love getting their cheeseburger and everything. <laughs> but after a while, after eating, after all these years of eating McDonald's, you start to feel kind of icky and icky and mucky. Well, icky and sicky and yucky and mucky inside. And it make you feel all kind of blech. That's why, that's why I've been focusing so much on eating, eating clean too. I'm telling you, you're going to feel real good when you eat clean as well. I mean, it's true. It can feel really good to eat clean. But you see, what people are doing now, I mean, yes. What they're doing is actually does help them get bigger, but the stuff like that is going to increase all your visceral fat. And you know, visceral fat can do some serious damage to your heart, and it can do some serious damage to your back as well. Like, you know, drinking sodas, like, you know, drinking sodas and uh, eating, eating type of food that's not supposed to be good for you, like uh, fried chicken, fried fish... Or maybe like a cheese, like a double cheeseburger, like some fast food restaurants you be getting. Some of this stuff is not really good for you. Whatever type of food you be eating is not always that good for you. I mean, I mean, yes, you could treat yourself for, you could treat yourself for any kind of food you want, but you can't just do it all the time. I mean, we're all gonna have some cheat days, but you can only have one cheat day. You see, that's what I like right there. Only do just one cheat day. For one cheat day, you know, you can, you can eat whatever you want. Just don't overdo it now. But when you focus so much more with the home-cooked meals, you're actually, you're, your, tummy, your stomach is actually say, Mmm, this food is good. I think I'm ready. I think he's ready to lose some. I think he's ready to lose some. Belly fat. Well, that's what your stomach is going to say. Because now you see, I put the eating and the exercise together. And you know what? It actually worked. Because you know, your body needs like carbohydrates. Or it's short for carbs. Because you see, a long time ago, before I started going to the gym, you know what happened to me? I was down to the road where I have high cholesterol yeah yeah but you see one time my doctor said i had high cholesterol because you see i was so addicted with eating fried fish and fried chicken and everything and you know what until i realized that all that fried chicken and fried fish isn't good for your heart and you know oh also butter is not really good for your heart either well unless it's just like a Unless it's like a, if unless it's like a fat-free butter, but anyway. And it also took me a while to realize that soda, all the soda you be drinking, is not really good for your heart either. It'll make it hard for your stomach to digest too, and it'll make your body, and otherwise, you'll feel kind of blub, 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 bubbly inside of your stomach, and it's gonna make your stomach hard to digest the food. Cause yeah, some food in there is not really good for your health. And all that cream you be having is not really good for your heart. 
and it's gonna make your and it's gonna make your heart for your heart to go boom boom. Think about it. Okay, number three. Number three, we all we all have to do this. Like, you see, the world doesn't pay much of this anymore. Like, well, some people do. Like, to do that, you gotta exercise. Do you see? Exercising is good for you. And it's not only the exercising is good for your body, but exercising can help with your minds as well. It will help you stay focused in school and it will actually help you stay focused on the job or well, at the job you work at. And it will help you and it will actually help you release all that stress and pain and it will get you off it will get you off on the social media for a little bit. Cause as you can see, whenever we go out, whenever we go outside and go for a walk, experiencing nature is feels a whole lot better than doing nothing. Well, you know what they say, doing something feels a whole lot better than doing nothing. Cause yeah, and also not only that exercising is good for your kids, it's also good for for adults too. It'll actually help. People just it'll actually help people get in shape by developing their bodies and their minds. Okay, now for number number three. Did I say number three or just okay? Okay, number four. Number four, rest. Sometimes when you when sometimes when you feel like you exercise a lot today. Well, this week, always make sure you take a rest day. You see, rest days are very important as well. When you, whenever you take a rest day, you actually give your muscles some time to grow and your mus your body some time to heal. Because, hey, if you don't let your body heal or give, you, give your muscles some time to grow and you continue exercising, you know what happened? You're overdoing yourself. And you don't want to overdo yourself. Because you know why? When you overdo yourself to your body, you're actually going to damage something. You're actually going to break something too. And it's not going to give you some muscle time to... And it's not... It's going to take you a long time for your muscles to grow. So that's why it's best that you should take a rest day. So that way, you will actually see some results later. When you out of your rest day, well, you don't need... You don't necessarily have to take a, take a rest like... When I mean rest, I don't mean like stay in bed all day. What I mean, mean is, whenever you take a rest day, all you can do is to do some physical activities. Like, you could go for, like this. Like this, see? You could go for a walk in the park. Just find you some walking shoes. You could go for a walk, or you go for a jog. And also, when you feel like that cleaning up your house is, is part of your schedule, just go for it. And hey, and you can also like this, like do some physical activities like you usually do, like you're doing your chores. Cause you know, everybody, everybody in this world needs to do their chores. You know, we can't have these uh, robotic stuff to take over the whole world. Like those, like those robotic lawnmowers and everything. You got to learn to do it yourself because sometimes, because sometimes you can never tr trust technology these days. Because you know what? Technology these days will actually won't trust you either. You see, whenever you're taking rest days, you're actually doing something good for your body. So, so, and okay, for, and last one, number five. Number five, stay consistent. What I mean when you stay consistent, it means you gotta stick with your goals. You can't let you can't let your uh, past get get the best of you. Can you see? That's what happens when you think about your past. The more down you're gonna feel, and you don't want to go there. Trust me. Um. Hey, when you go to the when you go to the gym, you gotta stay consistent and never give up. You see, most people, they just go to the gym and they just leave. And I say, like, a, 
well, maybe they're giving up, but not me. Because I'm going to keep going. Because I'm going to keep working out. No matter what it, no matter what it takes. Like the song Degrassi says, whatever it takes, I know I can make it through. You remember that Degrassi song, huh? Whatever <laughs> Don't you dare sing it, because you know what? Uh, copyright reasons? Oh, right. But anyway, stay consistent. Just stick with your goals, stick with your future, and stick with your plans as well. And also, always put God with it, too. So just remember, stay consistent, all right? I say, you got this. But well, that's it in this video here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Because, oh, and uh, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bells. And I will see you guys next time in the next, next video, okay? Peace out. Audio Jungle.